Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn how to do some two-step strong acid-base calculations. So let's jump right in and take a look here at the first example. In the first example, it says that the pOH of a hydrochloric acid solution is 3.75. We need to calculate the hydronium ion concentration. So in this problem, we know the pOH of the solution. And what we want to figure out is the hydronium ion concentration in moles per liter. So how do we do this? Well, we can do this one of two ways. We can go up here and figure out the hydroxide ion concentration and then figure out the hydronium ion concentration. Or we can figure out the pH and then figure out the hydronium ion concentration. Either way you take, you should be able to get the right, the same answer. And uh, you can see that these are going to be two-step problems. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. If we take a look, we know the pH of our solution is 3.75. I'm sorry, the pOH is 3.75. So we can probably in our first step determine the pH of this solution by taking 14 minus the pOH. And if we take 14 minus our pOH, which is 3.75 here, we're going to end up with a pH of 10.25. But this is not our final answer. What we now have to do is we now have to figure out the hydronium ion concentration. What we just did is we did this step right here to figure out the pH. So now what we have to do is figure out the hydronium ion concentration. And so to get the hydronium ion concentration, all we need to do is take 10 to the negative pH, which is 10 to the negative 10.25, and then we'll put this in our calculator and we'll end up with 1.78 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. So if we have a solution whose pOH is 3.75. If we have a hydrochloric acid solution with the pH of 3.75, the hydronium ion concentration is going to be 1.78 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. Let's take a look at another example. In this second example, it says the pH of a sulfuric acid solution is 2.75. We need to determine the hydroxide ion concentration. So in this problem here, we know what the pH of the solution is, right? We know that it's 2.75. And what we want to figure out is we want to figure out the hydroxide ion concentration. So we can do this one of two ways. We can go here to here, or we can go here to here. Either way, we'll get the same answer. So what we're first going to do here is we're first going to figure out the pOH. So to get our pOH here, we simply take 14 minus the pH, which is going to be 14 minus 2.75. And we're going to end up with a pOH of 11.25. This is not the final answer. This is just our very first step. What we now have to do is we now have to figure out the concentration of hydroxide ions that are in this sulfuric acid solution. So in the step, second step, what we're going to do here to figure this out, is to get our OH minus concentration, we will have to take 10 to the negative pH. I'm sorry, pOH. 10 to the negative pOH, which is 10 to the negative 11.25. And when we put this in our calculator, we're going to end up with 5.62 times 10 to the negative 12 moles per liter. So there we go. If we have a solution, a sulfuric acid solution that has a pH of 2.75, the hydroxide ion concentration is going to be 5.62 times 10 to the negative 12th moles per liter. Let's take a look at a third example. In this third example, it says the hydroxide ion concentration of a perchloric acid solution is 5.32 times 10 to the negative 8th moles per liter. We need to determine the pH. So in this problem here, if we take a look, we know the hydroxide ion concentration. So this is known. And what we're trying to figure out here is the pH of our solution. So we can go one of two ways. We can go this way and then this way. I like to go this way and then this way. So let's figure this out. In the very first step, what we're going to have to do is we're first going to have to find our pOH of this solution. And the way that we figure out the pOH of this solution is by taking the negative log of our hydroxide ion concentration. 
So we'll take the negative log of 5.32 times 10 to the negative 8. We'll put this in our calculator. The pOH of this solution is going to be 7.27. .27. So this isn't the final answer. What we now have to do is we now have to figure out the pH of this solution. So if we take a look, to figure out the pH of this solution here, we simply take 14 minus the pOH of our solution. So 14 minus 7.27 and it looks like we're going to end up with a pH of 6.73 as our final answer. So if we have a uh, perchloric acid solution that has a concentration of hydroxide equal to 5.32 times 10 to the negative eighth moles per liter, the pH of that solution is going to be 6.73. Let's take a look at another example. In this fourth example, it says the hydronium ion concentration of a hydrochloric acid solution is 3.75 times 10 to the negative ninth moles per liter. And so what we have to do is figure out the pOH of this solution. So in this problem here, if we take a look, we know the hydronium ion concentration. And what we're trying to figure out is the pOH of this solution. So this is a two-step problem. Once again, I like to go this way and then go this way. So let's go ahead and do that. In the first step, we know the hydronium ion concentration. And so let's first figure out the pH of our solution. And so to get the pH of our solution, like it says right here, we need to take the negative log of our H3O plus concentration. So we're going to take the negative log of our H3O plus concentration, which is the negative log of 3.75 times 10 to the negative ninth. And so we'll put this in our calculator and we're going to get a pH of 8.43. But this is not our final answer here. This is just our pH, right? The pH here is 8.43. The question here is asking to find the pOH. So how do we find the pOH here? Well, if we take a look to get the pOH of this solution, we simply take 14 minus the pH. So in step two here, to get our pOH of this solution, we're going to take 14 minus our pOH. So 14 minus 8.43. And we're going to end up with a pOH of 5.47 as our final answer. So if we have a hydrochloric acid solution uh, that has a hydronium ion concentration of 3.75 times 10 to the negative ninth, the pOH of that solution is going to be 5.47. Let's take a look at one final example. In this final example, it says a solution of calcium hydroxide has a concentration of 2.52 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. We need to calculate the pH of this solution. So if we take a look at this question, this question is a little bit different. We don't know the hydroxide ion concentration, but what we do know is the concentration of calcium hydroxide. Now calcium has a two plus charge and hydroxide has a negative charge or a one minus charge. And so if we take a look at the chemical formula for calcium hydroxide, it's CaOH2. And the concentration of this entire thing is 2.52 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. But we can see that when we put this in water and it dissociates, it's going to dissociate into two moles of hydroxide for every one mole of calcium. So in the very first step, what we have to do to get our hydroxide ion concentration, which is going to be this, is we first have to take 2 times the concentration of this entire thing, which is 2.52 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per liter. And so the hydroxide ion concentration here is going to end up being 5.04 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. So whenever you're given a strong base where the hydroxide here is bonded to an atom from group two, like calcium, and you're given the concentration of the entire substance, not just the hydroxide, you first have to figure out what the hydroxide ion concentration is like we just did right here. So now that we know the hydroxide ion concentration, we're asked to figure out the pH of this solution. So we want to figure out the pH of this solution. So now 
in step two, and this is actually a three-step problem, what we have to do is this first. So we're going to take the negative log of our OH minus concentration to get the pOH. So we'll take the negative log of our OH minus concentration, which is the negative log of 5.04 times 10 to the negative fourth. And when we put this in our calculator, we're going to end up with pOH of 3.30. So our pOH now we know is 3.30. But we want to know the pH. So we have to take this a step further. So in our third and final step, what we have to do is we have to take 14 minus our pOH to figure out the pH. So in step three, here we go in step three, to find our pH of this solution, we simply take 14 minus the pOH. So we'll take 14 minus 3.30, and this is going to give us a pH equal to 10.70. So this is our final answer to this problem. But understand that concept. Wherever you have a strong base that is bonded to uh, a, a cation from group 2 like we see right here, and you're given the concentration of the entire substance, then what you have to do is realize that this is going to dissociate into two moles of hydroxide ions for every one mole of this entire thing. So we have to multiply it by Two. We have to multiply the concentration by 2 before we even start plugging it into this little diagram here. So if you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner. That will subscribe you to my channel and feel free to leave any comments or questions down in the comment section down below. And I really hope you guys found this helpful.